Hey guys and welcome back to Everything DIY. Since we're going to be doing an at-home alignment video very soon, we need something to measure the camber in our vehicle. So today we're going to be showing you how to make your very own camber gauge, one that's easy to make, simple to use, and of course provides an accurate angle measurement. The tools we're going to be using for this project include a drill, drill bit, angle grinder, bench vise, a file, dial calipers, and measuring tape. The parts we'll be using are an AccuRemote digital angle finder we purchased on Amazon, a couple of nuts and bolts of the same size, and a steel angle bar we bought at our local hardware store. Make sure it's steel and not aluminum or else the digital angle finder magnets will not stick. So the first thing we need to do is to see if we need to cut any of the steel angle bar. We want it to fit nicely in the wheel well so that it's easier to work with. As you can see, it's a bit long, so we're going to have to cut some of the end off. I'm going to just mark the spot that I want to cut. So to take the end off, we have it in our bench vise and we're going to be using an angle grinder to cut it. Now make sure you have enough room to work with and that you have protective clothing on so that nothing gets you. Further, we're going to file down the edges of our bar so that we don't cut ourselves when we're using it. And it should be almost done. Now with the bar at a better size, we're going to measure our wheel so we know where our bolts are going to go. To get the right distance for the holes, we'll be measuring the diameter of the outside of the wheel on the car this will be used for. Remember when you're measuring the outside diameter of the wheel, you're also measuring the rim flanges so it will be longer than the wheel size. Okay. So our measurement is 49 centimeters or a little more than 19 inches. So we're gonna go mark that on our bar now. Okay. And 40. You want to make sure the holes you're drilling are the same, if not slightly larger, than the bolts you're going to be using. So make sure you have the right bit size. Now with our holes drilled, we can check the fitment of our bolts. Yep, they fit. Now we should verify that the distance between the bolts is good. So, I'm going to put up... Yeah, looks good. Next, you want to make sure each of the bolts are the same length so that you get the most accurate measurement possible and I'm going to do that using a caliper. Look good, bolt 29. Our bolt length seems pretty good but if yours isn't matching up you're going to want to file down the longer end or the end of the longer bolt so that they match up exactly and just keep doing it until you find that perfect measurement. Now it's time to assemble our camber tool. Obviously we already have the bolts in and screwed on tightly so I'm going to put the angle cube somewhere near the middle of those two bolts and see how well it works. Alright now it's time to test the tool and see how well we did with it. What I'm going to do is find a level spot in the garage and here we have this metal support beam which is probably the straightest thing we have in our garage 
And we're gonna put this up against it, assembled, and then I'm gonna test the cube just by itself and see if we get the same reading. Zero. And zero. Nice. If for some reason your measurements didn't match up, just double check your work, make sure that somehow the bar itself didn't actually bend. And if those are good, just try a different surface. It may not be level where you're working. Okay, so here we have our finished product. To use it, just turn it on. And then we're gonna push the bolts flat up against the rim, right down the center. You should be able to get your measurement. Okay, so that's our camber gauge video. We are gonna have the future alignment video right there for you when it's ready. And um, if you felt like this video is helpful, please give it some love by hitting that like button. And if you wanna join our DIY community, please press subscribe up there. And if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye.